there's not a visit I haven't gone on yet that I haven't cried. And he's not the only one. When these pink vehicles pull up, there's not a dry eye around. The story behind their mission coming up. Also, this artwork is now the talk of the town. Why it was important to the community to share the rich heritage of its neighbors. Then meet an angel among us, a former teacher who has touched generations. How she continues to make a difference in our town brand tool. This is WCIA 3 News, Our Town Brand 2, sponsored by Illinois Pork Producers and Best Western Plus Green Mill Village Hotel and Suites Convention Center in amazing Arcola. We are celebrating Our Town 2020, and this week we are sharing stories from Rantoul. The community is about a 20-minute drive northeast of Champaign, and it has a rich history. WCI3's Karina Rubio has more on how the railroad and the former Chanute Air Force Base put the village on the map. Like a lot of places in Illinois, Our Town Rantoul was plotted out on railroads. First um, plotted out, they wanted to run um, a train from Chicago to Cairo, and this is in spring of 1851. There was a group of investors, and one of them was Robert Rantoul. Robert Rantoul was on the board for Illinois railroads, and people rushed in to work them. The population shot up even more in 1917, when the Chanute Air Force Base made the village home. This was the main United States Air Force Technical Training Center, Chanute. That was it. There were actually more people on that base than there were in town. You had thousands of civilian workers out there that were in everything. They were in quartermaster, they were in uh, civilian pay, they were affiliated with the high, with the high school, with the uh, hospital out there. Chanute was also home to big history in World War II. The Tuskegee Airmen were a group of all-black fighter pilots, the first of its kind in what was then called the U.S. Air Corps. These guys had to be top of the line, and they were. They were absolutely the best who were out there. The base made the town bustling with business and people throughout its time there, but they lowered the flag in September 1993. When they moved out, when they decided that um, they were going to take the training elsewhere, that had a huge, huge impact. With Chanute went the people, even many civilians. There's been a long time coming that we've had any kind of a, a real positive feeling about the economic impact. But there's a plan in place to hopefully fix that. A huge Rantoul sports complex is in the works and is set to open for spring 2021. So we're very, very eager to see that happen. In our town, Rantoul, Karina Rubio, WCIA 3, your local news leader. One group from Rantoul is known for their pink vehicles. Pink Heels is a national organization. They visit children, women, and men who've been diagnosed with a life-altering disease. These pink vehicles pull up to someone's house, followed by other first responders in order to show support. About six years ago, a few people brought the Joliet chapter to honor two high schoolers in Paxton who were battling cancer. After seeing the response, they wanted to start a chapter in central Illinois. They have done more than 40 visits since then. It's wonderful because a lot of the people that we visit, they don't have much to smile about. I mean, they're, some of them don't have much time left. And here we are bringing a smile to their face when they didn't think they have a reason to smile anymore. You're not defined by what your illness is. You're still a person. You're still a human being. And that's all we want to do is let you know that you're still human. You're still loved. You've got a community behind you that supports you. And that's what we're all about. The pandemic put a pause on visits, but they are starting to do them again. If you visit Rantoul, you'll see artwork on the side of a building. It was a project years in the making, but when brush was put to paint, it only took a few weeks to finish. Paul Cicchini shows you. It shows a community that's rich in their history and heritage with a really diverse culture. And we kind of feel that it kind of reflects the small town of now. Kelly Wall is talking about the mural in downtown Rantoul. We worked with the Rantoul Area Chamber of Commerce, the Village of Rantoul. We worked with administrators and trustees from the Village of Rantoul, RTHS, RCS, a ton of nonprofits in town, some of the local businesses. It's a project that was truly years in the making, but ultimately came together within a matter of months. Within a six month time frame, we were finally able to make the project happen 
come with a, a, with a final plan, contract Madeline Wittrup, who was our artist who received the bid. And from start to finish, you know, even doing a little bit of fundraising and marketing, we got it done in six months. At the time, Madeline Wittrock was fairly new to mural work. That's actually my, only my second. Um, I've done a lot more like sign painting and like menu boards and things like that. But um, from a standpoint of actual full on mural, that would be my second one. But Wittrock isn't exactly new to central Illinois. With that one in particular, I had to do a lot of research because I'm not super, I'm from one of the small towns, I'm from Pasodum. Um, so I'm still like a, a townie, but I um, didn't know a ton about Rangel's history. So I needed to, I wanted to make sure that I was highlighting it the best way I could. Um, so this one actually took a decent amount of research. That's not the only part of the process that takes time. Weather definitely is a, is a, it's a thing. It's a thing you have to deal with. Um, I think it's also not only just when it's raining, but when it's like 90 degrees out, that's not good for the paint either. Wittrock put in over 120 hours of painting on the mural, and Wall says that finished product is special to Rantoul. It represents more than what any one piece of art can represent for a community, and it's going to be like that and different for everybody that gets to view it and see it. Wall says a lot of thought went into each letter and the meaning behind the mural itself. You can hear her explanation of it all at WCIA.com. Another form of art has been around since 1999. Rantoul's Theater Group says the show will go on. The actors recently moved into a new home downtown. They only had one winter show there before closing because of COVID. But it's reopening soon for the COVID-19 Carol Burnett skits. The group will only allow the audience to fill 30 out of the 80 seats, people will be spaced out. The cast is going to wear masks as they perform. It's a good technique on learning enunciation. So we'll, we'll make it work. There will be no more than five actors on the stage at once. Tickets to the show will cost $5. When I told some people in Rantoul who I was interviewing for my story this week, everybody's response was the same. I love Marguerite. And I have to say, being in her presence for only five minutes, I could tell why. She is an angel among us. I'm just always looking for ways to keep them interested. If you grew up in Rantoul, there's a very good chance Marguerite Carter was your teacher. You have to be willing to share a part of you in order to connect with your students. She connected to thousands of them over 34 years at Ader Junior High. She was also the volleyball coach there and at the high school. I try to help them see beyond the classroom and the books and try to help them look in their future and set goals and see what the possibilities are. But after retirement, Carter couldn't stay away from the kids. And when she speaks, everybody listens. Andy Graham was the one listening eight years ago. She told him she wanted to start an after school program at the youth center. And I called it academic hour rather than homework because I wanted the kids to understand that every day there's something that they could do. April Barnett's son, William, is just one of the kids who show up four days a week. And I grew up with her teaching me, so it's, it's, a, it's a blessing to have her to be able to teach my kids too, because they love her. But Carter wanted to do more for parents, so the We Prep for Success program was born. One day a week, they could say, we can come and have supper, work with our kid, and it also gives them some family time. She's positive in every way. You know, she never quits, and if they want it, she's there. You can't put a value on what she does for this community. Are you still working with the second graders? Now, if you ask her, it's the volunteers she's recruited who should get all the credit. But anyone in Rantoul will tell you, it's how Marguerite Carter treats children that is the key to her success. I, I know to my bones that kids want structure, they want discipline, they want expectations, they want to know that you care about them as an individual, and they know that you will listen. So that's what keeps me coming back every year. Carter's dedication to Rantoul isn't only through children. She was also a village trustee for 10 years. 
Ahead, it's a one-of-a-kind studio making its mark around the world. Also, we're going to head to the vault, where a restaurant is known for their burgers, but you need to save room for dessert.